Hey crafters, it's me Jen, and I had a few ladies wanting to know how I made my own um, spritz or glimmer sprays or mists. These are the ones that I originally made, and I'll share some um, tips and tricks that I know. However, I just experiment and I don't have any real professional um, way of doing this. The one thing I will tell you right off the bat is if you use these tiny little mini misters, I did this one with um, some glimmer, some I don't know if it was glimmer paint or whatever, that has that um, shiny stuff, kind of like it would look similar to what would be in here, a glimmer mist where it just makes things kind of shiny, you know, like brilliant um, glimmer. I did not use this enough and when I got to the bottom I didn't refill it right away and it dried up and now this mister, this little mini mister is completely useless. Um, I have tried washing out using hot boiling water and everything I could think of to clean out the nozzle and nothing works so that one's pretty much out of commission. I do store them standing straight up so that the little hose that goes up to the sprayer remains um, wet all the time so it does not have a chance to dry out and I keep the covers on them and I store them straight up and down so that all the liquid goes to the bottom and covers that that little hose. So that was the beginning of what I made. And these are all, the rest of these are all just um, water, alcohol, and ranger inks like this one. So whatever colors you want, you can mix and match colors, you can make them dark or light. Uh, I'll show you what these look like in just a moment. These are very light because I didn't want them to dry out while I'm not using them, so I watered them down a lot and I have not added extra ink. So I'll show you the pastel look that these have right now. What I've got set up here is a, well, just a plain piece of black cardstock and some little swatches of white cardstock so that you can see it more clearly. This one is a green. And these mini misters don't always spray the best either. They spray out in two different shoots. And that may be because my sprayer is um, not all that great. But in my camera, the, from my view, it looks like the paper's still white. But it's a very light minty green. This one is a purple. It's a very light 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 purple like I said these are very watered down all it would take is for me to just add some of um, my ranger alcohol inks to it to make it a little bit darker and that it would just be a totally different color the fun thing about it is that you can make this these any um, formulated color that you want like you could have a color that nobody else really has and I've also um, I've also added, let's see, another tip would be this Angel um, Glimmer Mist. These are really expensive, and I did, I, I finally broke down and bought this one. What is this one called? This one's just plain pearl, because I like the shimmer of it. But it ran out really quickly, and you can, as you can tell, I'm running out again. But all I did was put Pearl X, what's the other one called? Pearl X or... Oh, you get my meaning. I can't think of the other one offhand. Um, but there's two different kinds of that. It's just a mica powder. So if you can get mica powder from the dollar store, which is just plain old eyeshadow, you can put eyeshadow in there of any color and make any color of any of these colors a glimmer mist, just like this one is. And so I just refill that one on my own. I don't buy more. This one I think is kind of, yeah, it's a red. From the bottle it looks kind of pink or like maybe a bright pink, but it's definitely a red. Now in these I added water and I added alcohol, so you can definitely smell the alcohol, but it's not 100%. I know um, some people say it's really bad um, to breathe in a lot of alcohol, but I like mine to dry a little bit quicker, and that's why I do that. You don't have to add alcohol if you don't want to. Uh, let's see, where is my alcohol bottle? I use this um, Walgreens brand alcohol, it's 91%. Um, I don't think the percent really matters when you're mixing mists, but you can do what you want. This yellow is a lot darker than the other colors. Not sure why. I must not have added as much um, water to that one. There's another 
bright pink and this one actually was like a magenta pink so that's definitely watered down but it could be brighter and then the last one I'm just gonna take the pink one because I ran out of paper and I'm just gonna show you the blue on top of there and that's the light blue so now that I've shown you the ones that I've done giving you some just quick tips um, make sure you put the covers back on these I'm going to show you how to mix them in a bottle about this size. And again, it's all about playing around with it, experimenting. I have no exact science as to how to do this because I like to make original sprays that not everyone can run out to the store and buy. So here are all my swatches, and you can tell some of them are still quite wet. Some of them have um, already pretty much dried. And I've got some nice colors. Now I've played around already with these two. The blue one on the right is um, one third, I just took my bottle, so whatever bottle you have, I don't know if this is a two ounce or maybe a three ounce, I'm not sure. Let's see, this one's a two ounce, so it's really comparable to this, it's probably around a two ounce. But I had one third water, one third alcohol, and then I just started putting in my color. This one took a lot of color, I wanted a deeper blue, I used um, this uh, Adirondack by Ranger Ink. Um, sailboat blue and that's what this one is and I just kept I just kept adding and I added a ton of stuff to this so I'll show you what that one looks like in a moment but this one is not a glimmer mist it's just a flat blue this one however is a glimmer mist I did add a tad bit of this color of an Adirondack ink called meadow but mostly what I just added was an acrylic paint let me see if I can grab that one I put an acrylic paint in there by Martha Stewart. Um, it's a pearl, a pearlesque paint. What is this one called? Oh, putting green. There you go. Putting green. Um, I just squeezed it into there until it filled up the bottom. And then definitely before you ever use that, make sure you shake it up really well. While I'm shaking it, um, you can see the sparkle in there. There's a lot of sparkle. So I will spray that one in a moment too to show you what that looks like, but I'm going to show you how to mix one in this first. First thing I'm going to do is take some water and I just use regular tap water. This is just a bottle of water that I refill and I drink from. And I add about a third of that. I eyeball it. Um, don't make yourself go nuts over how much you added and how much you didn't add. And then I try to add approximately a third of this alcohol. Maybe even a little bit less. Like I said, don't make yourself crazy or you'll never you'll never attack a project like this if it goes like that. If it's just too much work. Um, I really want to do this red. So let me get this let me get this off and then I'll come back. I showed you before that I already have a red spray, but this one's called um, True Red by Americana. And it's just another um, whoop, alcohol ink, I mean not alcohol ink, duh, um, just a regular acrylic paint. So this one's going to be a flat color, it's not going to be a shimmer or a glimmer spray because um, you can always add a glimmer spray over the top of one so you don't want them all to be glimmer. And I'm just going to add this paint until it covers the bottom. I don't know if that's, there you can sort of see that just looks like a bunch of snakes on the bottom and I'm going to use one that's not a sprayer you can use a sprayer if that's all you have and I'm just going to mix it up the color always looks really bright when you mix it up at first but the test is um, definitely putting a spray in there and seeing what you get first because it might turn out looking like a total just pink all right let's put on um, a spritzer cap to that one and see what we get I have a feeling since um, we really want a true red on this one that it's going to be a lot lighter than we wanted it to be. Oh, it's a really burgundy kind of a pink, which I might even leave because I don't have a color like that at all, but I like that color. That's really pretty. So that's what I mean by experimenting. I mean, if you come up with something that you really love, then you've just lucked out and gotten a color that probably nobody has. 
But for the sake of the video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more of this red acrylic paint. And now I won't be able to see how much I'm adding, so I'm just going to add a bunch. And then um, we will shake this up again. Try not to shake it so hard that I just get a whole in, you know, bunch of foam in there. But you definitely don't want that paint to not be mixed because then it will get clogged in your sprayer. Now we've got some of the light stuff that's still stuck in the sprayer. So I'm going to spray some of that off until I get the true color of what this next one mixed. And I'm just going to spray it into my garbage can until it starts coming out the darker color that we mixed now. And I'll show it to you. This is what we've got. It's definitely not a true red, but the more you spray of it, the darker it gets, and I really like that color. So I'm going to stop there. I'd like to save that color because I think it's pretty cool. And then what you can do once these dry pretty well is you can put this label, whoops, this piece of paper, and label it right on your bottle so you know exactly what it looks like. So that when you're grabbing your homemade sprays, you don't get confused and think that's going to be a bright red and then it turns out pee this other color and you're disappointed. So that's the point of making this watches. Um, let's, this one's getting really saturated. I'm going to get rid of this and get out another piece. Actually, I'm, I'm going to do it right on my mat so I don't waste another piece of paper. And let's check out this glimmer green that I made. This one is very, very light. Like I said, I didn't add very much, but look at the shine. You can really see the shine on that. That is definitely a glimmer spray, and I like the look of that. So that'll go on my bottle like this. And let's, uh, let's see, let's wipe this up. I keep a roll of toilet paper handy because it's just a little bit cheaper probably than buying paper towels and whatnot. I also have towels next to my workstation so that I can recycle the towels and not waste a lot. Let's try this blue. This is just a, um, a matte blue spray that I used a little bit of um, Ranger's alcohol inks in and that is a very nice light blue. The more you spray and the darker it gets if you notice that this part got a little bit darker. So that'll be my label for that one and I really like that color. I don't have a lot of really dark colors, however, all you have to do is add more paint or add more um, of your alcohol inks or whatever it is you choose to make yours out of. So here's the one that, I, that we made together today, some of the other ones that I made, and then all of the ones that I made before. I hope this has inspired you to get out um, any kind of alcohol ink or, or ink refillers for that matter. You can use um, like Stampin' Up or Close to My Heart re-inkers. Re-inkers will also work beautifully. Um, any kind of inks that you have like that. Any kind of acrylic paints you have laying around the house and try it for yourself. And if you make a really cool color or you come up with some really great stuff, please link it back to me. I'd like to see what you have what you've come up with, what you've made and created. Let's share and um, be creative together. So thanks for joining me today. I hope this helped someone out, and I'll see you next time.